This tutorial explains how to use Procore's Calendar tab. Procore's Project Calendar offers a customizable view of all the tasks entered into the project schedule. Procore integrates with scheduling software such as Microsoft Project and Primavera products and also allows you to build your schedule within Procore using calendar items. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to create a schedule in Procore, view a schedule in Procore that was created using Microsoft Project, modify and update your schedule, and use email to automatically notify project team members of schedule updates. Let's go ahead and get started. Right now you are looking at the calendar. Procore's calendar displays a listing of all the tasks that are scheduled to take place during the current day, week, or month. The time frame can also be changed to view tasks taking place over various date ranges. To change the time frame displayed, use the orange buttons in the top right. Click here to go back, click here to go forward, and click here to navigate back to the present. Click on day, week, or month to change the calendar view. Searching the calendar. The calendar features a search box in the top right hand corner. Enter any resource or task name in the box and click search in order to find any matching items in the project schedule. For example, entering insulation will find all of the schedule items containing that term. Note that this general search will only find matching results within the time frame that you are currently viewing. If you're looking at a daily calendar, only items occurring on that day will be found. If you would like to search the entire schedule, check the box labeled Search Beyond the Calendar before clicking Search. To modify your schedule in Microsoft Project, note that this feature is for users of Microsoft Project only. You must have Microsoft Project installed on your computer in order for this feature to work. Click on the Modify in Project link in the right hand column. Procore automatically downloads the Microsoft Project data file for your schedule from the Procore servers. The file will be opened using the copy of Microsoft Project installed on your computer. Make your changes to the schedule or add tasks as you normally would and then click Save. Procore will ask you to provide the reasons for your changes to the schedule. This is an important step that will allow you to keep a complete history of your changes for every task on your schedule. The new version of your schedule will be saved back to Procore. Once the schedule file is saved to Procore servers, the latest version will immediately be available to your project team members who have permission to view the calendar tab for this project. All previous versions of the schedule are saved for you within Procore's Documents tab in the Schedules folder. Please allow Procore to save your changes. To build a schedule within Procore using calendar items, Enter the title of the calendar item. You have the option of assigning each item to a specific user in your directory. Making the item private limits visibility of the item to the assignee and the project administrators only when viewing the calendar. If you leave the private box unchecked or choose not to assign the item to a specific user, the item will be available to all users with access to the calendar tab. The beginning and end date will dictate the time frame of the item. You may change this information at any time and update the item's percentage completion and notes. Click Add Event to see the item on the calendar. Calendar items are always yellow, while tasks from a Microsoft Project or Primavera schedule will be blue for line item tasks and red for critical path tasks. Procore can also automate a look-ahead notification of the schedule to users in your directory and set it to go out a specific day and time each week. Team members can receive these notifications via email or fax. The notification will include schedule information based on the criteria specified by the project manager. See the Administrator tab for instructions on this function. Okay, let's review. In the past few minutes, you've seen how to create a schedule in Procore, view a schedule in Procore that was created using Microsoft Project, modify and update your schedule, and use email to automatically notify project team members of the schedule updates.